Hey, what is up guys, Matt here, and in this video we'll be talking about whether sunburn can damage your newly implanted hair. Let's start. This video has been brought to you by GoFiber. Enter your pictures and win a one-year supply of GoFiber. It's easy to enter. Order a free sample, take a clear before and after pictures, and send them to selfie at gofiber.com. Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Matt and you're watching my hair loss and hair transplant related channel. So if you're new, feel free to subscribe and also hit the bell if you are enjoying the topics of hair loss and hair transplant. You are somebody who's interested in managing your hair loss and maybe making your hair look the best possible way despite experiencing androgenic alopecia. So this is the channel for you. Also, uh, if you are like completely new, you can uh, check out mattdominance.com and get my free ebook five things I wished I had known before my hair transplant which can really help you out with a lot of things um, it helps you make a well-informed decision before eventually getting a hair transplant now back to the topic of sunburn and how it may or may not affect your uh, newly implanted grafts what's happening when you are getting a tan or getting uh, a, a, a sunburn is that your epidermis the outer layer of the skin uh, which is like 0.1 millimeter thin, like a sheet of paper. Uh, this skin layer is producing melanin, which is a pigment that your body uh, naturally produces to kind of sustain your natural skin color. Of course, if there is a lot of UV radiation coming from the sun, for example, the melanin will be produced much faster by your epidermis. As a protection mechanism um, against the UV radiation and thus your skin gets darker as a result of uh, faster production of melanin. Now this is all happening in the other layer of your skin which is called epidermis and underneath the layer epidermis is the dermis then you have even hypodermis and the subcutaneous fat tissue. Now, the usual sunburn that we get, this type of sunburn is classified generally as a first degree burn because it does not affect deeper layers of the skin like, uh, like dermis, hypodermis or even deeper than that. It only affects the epidermis where the melanin is being produced. So by these type of burns it's very unlikely that it's going to affect your uh, grafts or a newly implanted uh, hair follicle because hair follicle is rooted four millimeters deep in the skin tissue okay it's in the dermis uh, region it's below the epidermis no matter what type of uh, sunburn you get as long as it is the first degree burn it will not affect your hair follicles because they did also the study where they uh, exactly measured how uh, long the hair follicle is or how deep the hair follicle is rooted in the skin and they came up with the average depth of 4.16 millimeters that's the part of the hair that it's underneath the skin it starts from the dermal papilla all the way up to the skin opening where the hair follicle is turning into the hair shaft the what we see here that's the hair shaft to sum it up guys in order to get permanent damage on your hair follicle be it implanted hair follicle or your normal scalp hair follicle the burns that you would need to get would need to be at least like second to third uh, degree burns which are damaging the nerve endings and uh, that can they can also damage partially the hair follicle uh, around the bulge area uh, the outer root sheet cells and inner root sheet cells and maybe even dermal papilla only in such case you can get permanent damage on your hair follicle and such cases usually do not occur on the, when people go out uh, sunbathing and tanning it's not as a intense usually and that just ends up being just first degree burn which has no impact on the 
permanent damage of the hair follicle. Alright guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. For all you guys uh, who still are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's called Matt Dominance uh, because I started posting pretty interesting content over there. Uh, I summarize usually a, a big complex thing and make it really simple there. Uh, put some nice graphics there and throw it into your face so you can learn from it. And it's pretty interesting and engaging. Many guys like it and they, I'm getting a lot of comments on my recent uh, recent posts, especially on minoxidil, hair loss prevention uh, regimens and stuff like that. So make sure you follow me there. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I'm going to be posting another video, which is going to be very interesting and it's going to happen very soon. Okay, so uh, take care guys and we'll see you soon. If you want to avoid getting an unsuccessful hair transplant, find out about what are the real and subtle details you really need to pay attention to before you get a hair transplant. Do you want me to assist you during your hair transplant research and provide you with the best possible hair transplant clinic recommendations right away? Then make sure you apply for a one-on-one -on -one call with me by clicking the apply now button right here. And after you click it and fill out a short application form on my website, I will get back to to you within 24 hours and schedule a call with you whenever it's suitable for both of us and help you out. And I'm going to pack everything you need to know before your hair transplant into one single call because I don't want to waste your time. I just want to make sure that you get the best hair transplant result possible. Talk to you soon.